Good morning. I'm Anchorman Cam and this is VBS Today, the show where we take a look at the latest in Vacation Bible School news. We here at KTYM are so excited to have you join us for day two of Vacation Bible School. Today, we'll be focusing on how my loving God gives direction. For more on that, let's send it over to sports with Coach Waldo. Oh, well, hey there, Cam. So, I was out for my daily run, you know, and that's the time of the day that I like to think, and I thought, well, what a great day to play some Simon Says, except we're going to play Coach Waldo Says. So, everybody stand up. Coach Waldo Says, sit down. Coach Waldo Says, stand up. Coach Waldo Says, run in place. Hey, I saw you. <laughs> Drop and give me 20. You didn't do it. Well, that's all I got for you today, Cam. See you next time. Great work out there, Coach Waldo. I'm always up for a game of Simon Says. You know, he looks an awful lot like our weatherman, Wally. Weird. Anyhow, today, as we're learning My Loving God Gives Direction, we'll be focusing on the story of Moses and the Ten Commandments. God called Moses to the top of Mount Sinai to give him those commandments to send back for his people. Those Ten Commandments give direction on how to love God and love each other. For more on that, head over to CPH to watch their video for the Bible story today. In the meantime, let's check in with Adventure Andy, who's still out on assignment looking for the lost city of Oongabunga. Let's pop in and see how things are for Andy today. Andy, 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 look out, you're live. Uh, hi, sorry about that. I just got a little distracted, I guess. I'm trying to read this map. Andy, you almost ran into that tree. I did? It's just so confusing. I just can't seem to read it. It's very hard to see. Where did you get that map? Well, this is the one I told you about from my friend. It's supposed to lead to the lost city of Ungamunga, but it's so confusing, I can't read it at all. Maybe if I could take a look at it here in the studio. Good idea. Here. After careful examination, I've determined this map makes no sense at all. I was afraid you would say that. You know, it's a good thing you're here with us today at VBS. We're learning how my loving God gives direction. I sure could use some direction right now. Oh, I've been there. That's why I have a director here in the studio. I feel like I'm so lost trying to find my way that I may always stay lost. I know that life can feel scary and confusing, and you can feel lost sometimes, even if you're not going anywhere. That's why it's so important to remember, my loving God gives direction. How does he do that? Great question, Andy. God left us a very important message a long time ago in the form of a book. Do you know what that book is? The Bible. That's right. This super special book is called The Bible. The Bible is God's message to us. It's how my loving God gives direction. What kind of directions are in the Bible? Well, today we've been talking about how God gave direction to his people through Moses and the Ten Commandments. The Bible also tells us that God sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins and help give us direction for the rest of our lives. That means no matter where we go or what we do, God is always there to take care of us and help us. Wow, I'm so glad to know that my loving God gives direction. In fact, I just had an idea. I'll see you later. Goodbye. All right. See you next time, Andy. Speaking of that super special book called the Bible, the Memory Monkey is back today with another memory verse for us.
You shall be my treasured possession. Exodus 19, verse 5. Thanks a lot, Memory Monkey. Great moves. Before we move on, let's say that memory verse together one more time. You shall be my treasured possession. Exodus 19, verse 5. Now it's time to take a look at today's craft. Today's craft is this magnetic sunshine picture frame that says, Jesus loves me. This can serve as a constant reminder that you are God's treasured possession. He loves you and sent Jesus to die for you. You can look at yourself in the mirror as a reminder or stick a picture inside of it and use the magnet on the back to stick it to your fridge. I'm going to hang mine right there. Today for snack, it's the commandment crackers. And that brings us to today's challenge. I would like to see you following the directions for how to make this snack. If we have five families, share on our Facebook group. I will eat a snack prepared for me by my kids. Anyways, now it's time to take a look at our origami project for today. You'll be constantly reminded that you are God's treasured possession with this little origami treasure box. Well, that wraps up our broadcast here at BBS Today. Parents, remember to head over to the Facebook group or trinitybillings.org slash VBS for today's supplementary materials and additional videos. Remember, my loving God gives direction. Jesus leads the way. Thanks for joining us today. Before we sign off, let's say a prayer together. Repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you 
for reminding us that we are your treasured possession. Help us to remember that you give us direction. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining us here at KTYM for VBS today. We'll see you later on for our live stream closing at 4.30 and tomorrow for day three. This is Anchorman Cam signing off. See you next time.